On this Fit Friday, we're going to stay in our seats and address tummy troubles with Joe Dell Fitzwater of Get Fit with Joe Dell. And this is one of the rare Fit Fridays where we're sitting in chairs. Yes, and sitting has a lot to do with digestion, which is what we're talking about today. When we sit too much, we kind of cramp up that area, but also life in general causes digestive distress and how we digest our food is kind of a barometer for how we digest life. So if you're taking on too much in your life, it can cause bloating in your life. You feel like you're overdone and mm -hmm. bloating results in your body. Uh, same thing with if you can't have, you have issues letting go of things in your life. You'll have issues maybe with constipation and letting go that way. So digestion is a huge issue for many, many people right now. So what can you do to address that? I mean, you can identify the problem, say you feel bloated. Yeah. So, so what do you do to address that? As Hippocrates said, all health and all disease begins in the gut. So if, if all disease begins in the gut, then we go there first. We go to the root of the problem. And we first crowd out any foods that are causing inflammation, first and foremost. So the most inflammatory foods are gluten, refined sugar, and processed flours, as well as soy. Those can all damage the gut lining. And when there's damage in the gut, there can be damage in the brain. A lot of people that have issues with digestion also have issues with depression and anxiety as well, because the serotonin, the feel-good neurotransmitter, is made in your gut. So if you're not making that, then you're not going to have good feelings in the brain. You can have low moods and stuff like that. Another thing you can do is, instead of taking in those foods that are inflammatory, we replace them with things that are healing, like coconut milk, coconut oil, coconut butter. That kills off harmful bacteria in the gut, but it also soothes the intestinal lining. Okay. So those are very good, helpful foods. And then finally, get some rest. If the only time your body can repair itself is during rest full times, then it's imperative if you're having gut issues to eight to nine hours of sleep is imperative to get because you're going to only use that time to repair the damage that's been mm. done. If you remember one thing, get more sleep. <laughs> get more right? sleep. Get fit with Joe Dell on this Fit Friday.